As teachers, we have opportunities to open doors for students. And metaphors really matter. They not only help shape our perception of things, they can also shape our experience. And today I want to encourage you to open the door for students in your school and in your family and in your community by doing three different things. By um, creating ebooks, by having a scratch club, and by having a story chaser club. We can now open digital doors for students. You probably heard the phrase, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. And that can be true because we only have a certain number of experiences. But technology really has a creative potential that we can unleash. Technology can not only allow us to access content, but can, it can allow us to create content. That can be scary. That scares a lot of folks. But books don't tend to scare many teachers and students. So let's start there. Create an ebook with a student. Show of hands, how many have done this? Created an ebook with students. How about an enhanced ebook that includes some recorded voices? Yes. Books are like this bridge to the, to the 20th century. I love this phrase, your word is your wand. You have any Harry Potter fans in your household? We've got the Hermione Granger wand at our house and we've got it you know, being used to say aloha mora, doors magically open all the time. But you know, words are incredibly powerful and um, an app like Book Creator for iPad can allow students to create an ebook and record that, their voice in that ebook and to do so with the assistance of a teacher, but not with the teacher doing all the work. Share the magic of ebooks in your own family. This summer, you may be going on a vacation. You may have a device um, that can record audio. And the opportunity to record our voice and to share that and to preserve that is an incredibly powerful thing. So the second thing I want to encourage you to do is to start a scratch camp in your local community. How many have played with Scratch, the free program from MIT? Um, Mitch Resnick, I heard speak at ISTE a few years ago, he describes it as having a low bar and a high ceiling. What Scratch allows us to do is to build digital stuff, animations, games, and stories. And if you ask kids, do you want to do this? You get incredible enthusiasm. In fact, I've learned you don't want to introduce Scratch to a group of adults where kids aren't around because the response is so different from the students. Scratch helps kids learn computational thinking and it helps develop math skills that may or may not be on their grade level. My third grade teacher in, our, in the conference, my daughter's third grade teacher last year, was telling us, how does she know about negative numbers? And it was because of Scratch. Um, Scratch can also help us redefine geek at school. You know, folks in, in schools today know that people like Steve Jobs and Mark Zuckerberg have changed the world, but geek is still kind of a dirty word, and we can change that. And we can also become beginners again. Um, how many of you remember beginning some kind of athletic activity? Now, maybe not surfing, skiing, roller skating, ice skating, you know, that first time when you start, you, you, you feel nervous, you feel scared, and Scratch can help us experience that again. Last idea is to lead a local story chaser club. Um, it was actually a couple years ago, Kevin Honeycutt, I don't know if he's here, was... Uh, we were driving up to Kansas and uh, driving back up to Oklahoma and Kansas and thinking about storm chasing and this idea of chasing stories came about. You'll hear a lot about digital citizenship at ISTE, uh, but digital citizenship isn't just something we need to know and our kids need to know, it's something we do and we need to find ways to practice it regularly. How about amplifying school stories? Are there enough folks at your school who are amplifying the awesome things happening every single day? Probably not. We can enlist students in a journalism club that can meet after school once a week or, you know, periodically, and we get to do things like tell stories and amplify stories. And we also get to do something really important, and that's called playing with media. We have an opportunity to play with tools, to become comfortable with them, to create things and share them, to gather around and celebrate. And those are my encouragements for you today. Thanks a lot. Let's hear for Wes, let's hear for all of our presenters.